The basic mayfly life cycle sees the egg develop to a nymph, the nymph growing and maturing in the aquatic environment before hatching. Nymphs emerge either drifting upward through the water column or by crawling out on rocks. A mayfly exits its nymphal casing by cracking through the wing pad, drying its wings before flying away to streamside vegetation. What most anglers don't see is the dun molting to a spinner as it either sits in the bush or mid-air, often at night or low light conditions. Spinner bodies have elongated tails, larger and translucent wings, and the body elongates and changes color at least slightly. Spinners usually appear larger than they actually are. They are seldom thick or stout. Start by matching body size and color tone, then thickness, before worrying about the total length with wings and tails included. The reality is that the wings and tail may never be on the water nor seen and may not be a consideration to a trout, whereas a body and legs will always be on the water and seen. Spinner abdomens are most commonly a shade of brown or tan and in sizes 14 through 20. Because of these new characteristics, spinners are susceptible to heat and drying out. It protects itself by remaining in cool, shaded areas, returning to the water only in low light of cloudy days, early mornings, or late evenings at the peak of summer. It's the spinner that mates and returns to the water to lay eggs and expire. Spinners in the air late afternoon to early evening almost always mean spinners on the water at dusk. Look in the streamside bushes for signs of imminent swarms. While a hatch may be one to five hours, the spinner event generally is short, about 20 to 90 minutes. This means concentrations of insects can be heavy and your fly one of literally a million on the water in a compressed time frame. Light to moderate events are more productive than heavy events. Being one of a hundred instead of one in a million is simply an odds game. While heavy events can raise every fish in the river, it often means you get to watch every fish in the river not eat your fly. Trout may begin the event by focusing on the newly spent spinner that has an upright wing. As the evening unfolds, they may focus solely on splayed wing spinners or even upright wing spent spinners that have simply fallen over in the surface film. Feeding trout can become extremely picky and locked on to one insect and size. A dip net may be beneficial to show the diversity of what's on the water, but be warned that dip nets can also add to your anxiety as you might find five or six insects or various insect stages on the water and only have 20 minutes of fishable light left. It often isn't the biggest nor most abundant insects on the water trout lock into. It might be which are most susceptible and least likely to fly away, allowing trout to leisurely sip.